You can tell I'm in the same shirt as the last video. I got lazy. This week I am doing a Lizzie special. It's been a very long time since I've done one of these, but I wanted to get in front of the camera, get in front of the mic, if you were listening or watching, and just kind of share how the past year has been. I think with the pandemic, uh, it's been a very tough year um, for everybody. And I just wanted to share kind of where I'm at creatively. And I'm in a creative rut, as you can probably tell <laughs> by how little I've been posting on social media and uh, getting out interviews. It's weird. I've never been in a rut like this for as long as I've been in. I feel like it's been around over a year. And I mean, obviously, you know, being in quarantine for so long, um, I'm sure that probably contributed to it. And I think also having a book release during the pandemic didn't help. Like that was, that was a huge, huge, huge knock um, to work on Bites of Terror for a year and then kind of have it get a little, a little swept under the rug, um, obviously show, so with everything going on. Um, but I think that was a huge crush to my creative spirit, which really bumps me out because uh, so much in my life, um, I take the time to talk about creativity. Oh my God, why am I getting sensitive? <laughs> um, yeah, it just makes me really sad to not have that creative energy. So um, I've been taking a step back to kind of figure out like how to get back into it and um, what to get me going again. And you know, I, I think, I think I've cracked it. We'll see. I know that talking to other creative people, um, definitely gives me a boost. So I'm going to focus on interviewing more people, getting them on the show and, um, and honestly taking a break when you need to take a break, which I think I've taken a little bit too long of a break right now. Um, and it's time to get back to work and time to start creating, you know, it's so, I think we all put on this, I don't think we all put on this air, but I think it's important to be honest about where we're at sometimes in our life, um, you know, with the people around us. And in the world that we live in today, the people around us are often our friends online and the online community. And I'm not one to often um, go online and, and to be like super candid. I'm like, let's be goofy and fight off the feels. <laughs> uh but yeah, I've been uh, off for a really long time and I, I want to get back into it and still be hungry. It's funny, um, Jimmy always says, it's like, we're not getting any younger. And that idea that you have to be like so young and so hungry to create, you know, it does get me in the back of my mind sometimes. But then I'm always like, that's ridiculous. Like there are people of all ages that create. Um, so I'm trying to find you know, will I be as hungry as I was when I was 20 and 29? Yeah, I think so. I would probably will not work to the point that I need surgery on my wrists like I did before. I'll work smarter. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not, smarter, not harder. Um, but I'm going to try and not let that block out where I'm at right now. And I'm hoping that if you're in the same situation, um, that you two are finding ways to get out of it. You know, I, uh, during last year in 2020, um, I kind of dealt with, you know, I've always dealt, dealt with mental health stuff for years. Um, you know, I've been in therapy and on medications for like over a decade. And I think I got a little bit thrown for a loop when, and we'll go into too many details, maybe one day when this podcast turns into a confessional. <laughs> I'll go into more, but um, I got like a, a different mental health diagnosis that I wasn't expecting. And, you know, sometimes it is good to just take care of yourself mentally and then move on to creating. Um, you know, there's one thing that I love about David Lynch. Like, I think he's like a huge, awesome inspiration. But in reading his books, um, I think it's Catching the Big Fish where he gets into it. The one thing that I do disagree with him on is how... Um, 
you know, mental health medication can take away from your creativity. I think that that's a very dated, uh, a very dated statement. Because I know for me, um, when I was going through a dip and quite a different dip than I've ever been through before, um, you know, medication was the only thing that kind of helped me stable out of it, even though I was already on medication, which I think kind of gets really hard, but you're like, I'm already taking drugs. How, how can I be dipping? So anyways, maybe as I go rambling, maybe that's uh, partially why I've had such a hard time the past year. So um, I'm hoping to get inspired by you guys, to get inspired by more guests and to uh, do more Lizzie specials and share with you kind of where I'm at creatively. And, you know, you're going to have some major failures. I tell myself that all the time, not to say that the mental health stuff is not a failure. You can't control that. Um, but you know, I was really sad about Bites of Terror, um, not getting to go to conventions, not getting to see people, you know, and really celebrate that book. That's like the big thing about when you release a book is just getting to talk to people about it. And I still yet to this day have not gotten to do, any in-person signings just because, you know, in our household, like we're very, very careful um, with the pandemic and especially with the Delta variant, like we've canceled one of my favorite trips that we had planned for so long um, just to play it safe. So I'm going to try and keep my head up. If you have any great advice, leave a comment. (laughs) Isn't that horrible? I hate it when, um, um, people try and slide that in all smooth. No, really, uh, just reach out to me. I find that anytime that I talk about my mental health stuff, um, you know, often, usually on my personal Facebook and um, sometimes on my secret alternate <laughs> account that I have on Instagram. It's not really not that secret. It's just Liz loves physical media. But sometimes I do go on there and share, what, you know, my mental health struggles. So, um, and I find that often that that usually helps uh, even just talking about it in vague terms. Uh, helps as well. So um, anyways, uh, just reach out to me if you guys want to talk about creativity. And until next time, um, I hopefully will be going off and making cool stuff. And I hope you are too. So uh, get ready for more cool interviews and uh, Lizzie specials. Bye. (laughs) 